Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming at you with a Sassy Girl Aroma Haul. Sassy Girl is one of my all-time favorite vendors and although I'm not trying to buy any wax in the summer, I just cannot resist her stuff. Her stuff throws amazing, it smells great, she refunds shipping, it's just awesome. I know a lot of people have had a little bit of beef with her in the past, but since I'm fairly new to the vendor world, I haven't had any issues and I'm just going off of everything that... I know and that I've had an experience with and it's been really pleasant so far. So let's get into the haul. It's a smaller haul, but I really love everything. So the first thing that I picked up is a chunk bag in a citrus scoop. The scent description is orange sherbet, tangerine, satsuma, whipped cream, summer scoop, cotton candy frosting, and Twinkies. Sometimes she goes a little crazy with the blends, but it works out. This is awesome. I have a chunk here because I want to show you guys what her chunks look like now. Um, she doesn't do the... Her chunk bags used to literally be wax cubes with chunks in them. But now she does these multi-layered chunks. So it's all different colors. And I'm not sure if each color is a different scent or if it's all blended together and it just smells really nice. But this is really, really great. It smells very citrusy but a little bit sweet you know from that I think you really get the um whipped cream honestly summer scoop is the yankee candle um you know knockoff of the Nike of the yankee candle summer scoop scent which is basically like strawberry ice cream and this is awesome you definitely get that orange orange sherbet you get, definitely get the tangerine and the satsuma those three things are right up my alley as soon as i saw those three in a blend together i was like give it to me i need it i need it in my life and i am so happy that i have it yeah definitely just orangey and citrusy maybe a tiny bit of strawberry from the summer scoop and a little bit of creaminess from the whipped cream not really getting twinkies or cotton candy frosting but it's really 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 nice and I am thoroughly pleased with that the next one that I have is sweet ocean breeze and this is salty sea air ocean breeze coconut cream and cotton candy the ocean breeze I already have a chunk bag of and I'm obsessed with it it is just amazing if she ever offers that by itself again I will totally totally buy like one or two because it's just awesome it's a very aquatic and fresh and summery and clean um you know scent it doesn't have any description other than like you're walking along the beaches and the water splashes you and it's breezy and it's really fun and great so I don't know exactly what's in it like whether it's rain or ozone or salty you know sea driftwood or whatever other ocean concoction she could come up with but ocean breeze is great so that when I saw that she had a variety of it in sweet ocean breeze I had to pick it up and this is really really great you definitely get the ocean breeze which I know what it smells like because I have the chunk bag of it um and this is the chunk this is the layered chunk really gorgeous a lot of people kind of freaked out when she said that she was doing the layered chunks instead of the chunk bags I don't really care it's wax. It all melts the same. It looks very pretty. It still is going to create a really nice wax pool. So, I don't mind it. I love it. Her stuff's great. It could look like absolute shit, and I honestly still melt it. As long as it smells good, I don't care. Anyway, this is really, really great. You definitely get salt. Her Salty Sea Air Blend is amazing. I love it. Then you get that Ocean Breeze. Um, I don't really get much coconut cream or cotton candy. I'm not really getting a creaminess. I really generally just smell that ocean breeze scent followed by like her salty sea air. But it's so, so, so fresh and awesome. Like I said, I love the ocean breeze and I would repurchase that times a million. So I really enjoy that. Also, excuse my arm if you see it, it's peeling and I got a sunburn and it's nasty. So please just ignore it if you see it. Uh, next we have... Cookie Crumble. This is the last chunk bag that I purchased this order. This is coconut cream pie, toasted marshmallow, sea salt breezes, and s'mores, blackberry, cookies, marshmallow, cotton candy, and Twinkies. This is basically beach nights mixed with coconut cream pie and cotton candy Twinkies. 
I believe, yeah, I believe her, um, her Beach Nights blend is that salt sea, sea salt breeze s'mores and like cookies or something. And then I, I don't know, I can't even remember. I, no, it doesn't have blackberry in it. I'm getting all mixed up, but this honestly just smells like Beach Nights, um, on cold. It really just smells like Beach Nights. And this is a massive chunk, like, holy chunk, Batman. <laughs> it's huge. And I still have a bunch in the bag, so... This is a massive, massive chunk. It's huge. Um, this, yeah, it just smells like Beach Nights. I don't get any coconut cream pie. I don't get any, like, major note of cotton candy Twinkies. I have a bunch of her Beach Night blends, and they all kind of start to smell the same a little bit. Uh, or they all have at least that same base note, I will say. Um, but yeah, this just smells like Beach Nights right now. I'm really hoping that with some cure time, the coconut cream pie comes out because it's really what I got it for. I, you know, I like Beach Nights and I would like to try it with coconut cream pie, but right now it's just not a dominant scent. But I'm really hoping that it comes out because I, I would enjoy that and I want to try it. I want to try it. What I will say about Sassy Girl is that her stuff, you need to cure her stuff for sure. Um, it doesn't need to be cured for like a super long time. I cure it for a minimum of four weeks and then anything after that is really just like a bonus. Some people, um, melt her stuff as soon as they get it. That's all great. It still smells really nice, but for me, the longer that you let her stuff cure, and I'm not talking like six months long, I'm just talking a couple weeks. The longer that you let her stuff sit, the better it smells and the more complex it smells. Um, like for that cookie crumble, I'm mainly getting beach nights, but I'm hoping that in four to six weeks, I really get a coconut cream pie and I won't be surprised if that does happen because with a lot of her blends in the past, I've gotten them, you know, in the mail, I smelled them and I was like, eh, not that impressed. doesn't really smell like I was hoping it would, or they all kind of smell the same or whatever, but you let them sit and they truly, truly develop. I've had stuff that I hated on cold. I've got, I, you know, I let it sit smelled it and I'm like oh my god this is a completely different wax than what I smelled four weeks ago so definitely cure your stuff if you're new to sassy girl that's just my um opinion and that's my suggestion again you don't have to follow that a lot of people melt right away more power to you I am just a cure I I like to cure my stuff to make sure that I'm getting the you know the the most that I can get out of it and after discovering that her, her scent blends are more complex and change, I cure her stuff, you know, e I'm, I want to cure her stuff even more now because I know that they're just going to get better and better and better. And they're going to smell more like their scent descriptions. So just keep that in mind. If you're new to Sassy or you've placed an order and you've gotten stuff and it just doesn't smell exactly like what you were planning, let it sit and then come back to it. I also picked up three blender sticks. I got cinnamon sugared donut type, which is the Bath and Body Works. Uh, what is that? Cin oh, it's called cinnamon sugar donut. Duh. Duh. It's the cinnamon sugar donut dupe. Um, this is interesting. It doesn't smell exactly like it, but again, we're going back to the let it sit. Um, it smells like a cinnamon sugar donut. Not exactly like it, but it still smells really good. Very, very um, donut-y and doughy. And not. it's definitely not red hot cinnamon. It's more of a bakery cinnamon and the sugar. So, like that, for sure. Then I have Juicy Pear. Um, so. Yeah, this is not what I was expecting. See, again, we're kind of playing this. And it's not that I hate it. This, to me, is just a very candy and sweet pear um I was thinking more of like an authentic fruity type of pear that maybe wasn't as sickeningly sweet like this is very very sweet to me very candy very I don't want to call it artificial just just very very sweet to me it does not smell authentic but it's very strong it's crazy strong but again I'm gonna let it sit I'm gonna see what happens and I really bought this to blend with stuff. I have a bunch of her blender sticks in like birthday cake and cake batter and I think they even have like marshmallow or something crazy. I have a crazy list of her blender sticks, but 
I really got this to melt with stuff. I really want to try this with like saltwater taffy or birthday cake. Just try it. Who knows what you can come up with when you blend her stuff. So yeah, that's not bad. Then the last thing that I picked up is fluffy towels. And I'm gonna be a little harsh here. Gonna be a little bit mean. <laughs> this, um, this I hate. <laughs> I hate it. And to me, I, um, yeah, I hate it. I, <laughs> I feel so bad. Um, for me, fluffy towels from Yankee Candle is like, Bay. It is so damn good. It's like the perfect laundry scent. I was so sad when they discontinued it. I have one little mini um, of their candles and I also have a large jar that I found at Home Goods. I saw that and I snatched it off the shelf so damn fast and then I searched like a madman to hopefully, hopefully find more but I only found one. So I have a large jar and I have a mini jar so I know what the original fluffy towels is supposed to smell like and this is not it and unfortunately what I get on cold is not anything close so I don't think that when this um, cures that it's gonna even smell really close this is very very floral it's it's a very super floral laundry and fluffy towels is not bad at all if you've ever smelled the original fluffy towels it is a true fresh laundry blend it's not clean cotton it's not a floral it's not like downy it's just a true clean laundry like it, they truly smell like fluffy towels that you pulled out of the dryer that are super clean and white and just lovely so this is not it unfortunately i was really really hoping that it would be because i love that stuff and I could, if i could find a vendor that has the exact same or even remotely close to it i would love it but this is just not it unfortunately it's not it it's it just missed the mark it's just too floral too Oh, I just don't even know. I just don't like it. I don't like it at all. Uh, I'm going to try and cure it, but I, I, um, yeah, I don't think that's for me. And I typically love laundry stuff. Like laundry stuff is a, is, um, you know, is a, uh, what is that? A category of scent that I really love and I buy very often. I love laundry scents, but that just missed the mark. And then lastly, she just sent me a sample she does samples in every order that you purchase. And this is Old World Christmas. And it's um, a little, I think they're one ounce. Uh, I don't know. But um, is it one ounce? Yeah. It's a one ounce little scent shot in Old World Christmas. And it smells like, lo and behold, Christmas. Very piney, not piney, very cinnamony. Like the red hot cinnamon that I don't really like, but I will save this for Christmas and uh, hopefully I will like it a little bit more at Christmas time. <laughs> but yes, this is my haul. Um, I really love Sassy Girl, like I said before. I'm gonna let all this stuff cure for at least four weeks. And once I come home from my beach vacation at the beginning of August, this stuff will be ready to go and I am totally throwing in Citrus Scoop the day that I get home because I get home August 11th or 12th and this stuff will be cured for a month at that point and I'm putting it right in the warmer and I am so excited so let me know if you guys love sassy girl if you hate sassy girl if you never purchased from her and if you ordered anything from her restocks or what's your favorite scents let me know down below I love to hear everybody's different opinions um yeah so I will see you guys next time thanks so much for watching